Der Gruß Travel Vlog. <laughs> That's German for hi Travel Vlog. <laughs> Today we're going to be trying a different or a bunch of fall and Oktoberfest style beers and we're going to be rating them from Einer to Ocht. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to be trying a bunch of fall, different fall and Oktoberfest beers, and we're going to introduce each one of them to you. we got some palate cleansers here, which just is your good old H2O, and then we're going to try each one for you guys and go over them a little bit. She's got her fall uh, and her fall leaf mug, oh, and I've got my Schulzbrau uh, mug here, which is a local German brew, so we're all set. Yeah. First on the list is going to be Wiseacre uh, Oktoberfest. These are an Oktoberfest of the Mars and Lager for the people who don't know it's a type of lager. Um, this is out of Memphis, Tennessee, so it's a local ish in state brewery for us. Yeah, we're from Knoxville, so that's close. And that's enough to get a good feel for the color in this. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, not as dark as some of the ones I've seen, I think. We'll, we'll see how they come out, but it's a little kind of like an amber, yeah, it's nice kind of amber light. color with very bubbly. Yeah, well, that's yeah, that's a lot of these. You'll see like a big, a big head on a lot of the beer because of that. So, frost. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. really good. I like that. That's good. I think I'm gonna say that for all of them though. I yeah. like it. <laughs> that, well, they're all gonna be good. We just gotta figure which one's better. Than that, however, I've I've had a lot of Oktoberfest already for the fall. Um, that one is really good. I haven't had Wise yet. It's really smooth though. It is. It's super smooth. It's really good. I like that one a lot. What does it say? So that one, uh, granted, this is the very first one we tried, but go I've, had, go I've had I've had a lot of Oktoberfest. That one's super good. So Einer. It's, it's it's going it's it's, it's Einer for now. Einer. And we'll uh, the bird king. Right? We'll bump it as as we <laughs> see fit. Uh, next up is Yeehaw, which is also a Tennessee uh, beer, Johnson City, Tennessee. Yeehaw Oktoberfest. Seasonal lager, Marsden style lager. This one uh, does show at 6%. I know, I was about to say that. This one's a 6 percenter. So this one, already it's it's darker um, than the uh, than the Wiseacre. Um, yeah, it is darker. Yeah, so I'm expecting it to, to taste a bit heavier too. <laughs> wow, that's very different. I like this it one is. better. I don't. You I don't, don't like, like it better. better. No. I like it better. It's uh, it's got an aftertaste to it that's not bad. I like the aftertaste. But it's uh, the traditional malty German style lager. It's definitely malty. It's good, but I like the Wiseacre better. It says it has an ever so slight note of bitterness, and I think that's why I like it. Maybe I like bitter stuff. Yeah. Good. This this is uh, this may actually be closer to uh, what an Oktoberfest yeah, is. Yeah, I think so. I really don't know, but that one's way more drinkable though. Yeah, it is. I I like the Wiseacre better, but if you feel super passionate <laughs> about it, we can bump it because I'm not that torn on it. Love with it. Two. Next up is Rar and Sons Brewery. Uh, this one's out of Texas, Fort Worth, Texas. Um, so Rar and Sons, uh, Oktoberfest, Mars and Lager, 6.7. So this is the strongest one so far. This one I, I have had before and I know I like it. I don't think Lauren likes it that much, but. So this one is kind of in between. Yeah, I was about to say, had. Yeah. it's in between like, the last two colors. In terms of the color, it's uh, probably a bit more body than the other ones. It's got a bigger head on it just from the little pour I did, but for us, oh, we're supposed to... it's good. I smells did. like beer. Yeah. I hate it. Oh, I love it. This is super good. We don't have a ghost. That was our dog. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the door opening. That was our little maple. <laughs> she snuck by. Oh, this is gross. No, I love it. This is really nasty. Oct! <laughs> Wait, that's the wrong one. Oct! No, no. <laughs> this is disgusting. You may have this. I love it. She hates it. No. I'd give it pretty high marks. She'd give it super low marks. So I'll say that's like a six. Because it's too good to be on the bottom. I'm Oct. sorry. No. <laughs> Too good to be on the bottom. So next one is probably going to be the reverse of the one we just had because we've had this before. I am not a fan, and you Lauren like is. These. They're not great. I mean, they're drinkable. Um, this is 
Sam Adams, Boston Brewing Company, um, Oktoberfest. I, I will say, um, in terms of Sam Adams beer, this is one of the more palatable ones. Um, I but. love Sam Adams. Well, I don't like normal Sam Adams, but I like all their flavored beers. I, I cannot name another one right now as it stands. No, they're cold snap. They're winter cold snap. I think that's really good. Yeah, she likes that. I'm, I'm not big on it either. I just don't like Sam Adams beer. But this is one of the better ones. If I have to drink Sam Adams, I do like their Oktoberfest. Okay. I've never analyzed it though. Yeah, so this it's pretty dark. It's about as dark as uh Yeah, it's darker than the last one. About as dark as the Yeehaw I was. Doesn't smell like it. Smells like beer. Gross. I'm not a good sniffer. Yeah. If I'm actually thinking about the flavor in comparison, I still like these two more. Yeah. But it's wow, you're grimacing a lot. It's not great. It's better than that. It's definitely not. <laughs> I've never really sat down and thought about the flavor because usually when I buy a pack of Oktoberfest, I'm drinking obviously that kind of Oktoberfest. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, we got Sam Adams. I'm gung ho on the Sam Adams, you know. I've just never compared it to others, like in one sitting. My whole palate is changing now. All right, I would say this is probably the worst one of the batch so far, but. I think it's very smooth though. I like it because it's easy to drink, and I think that's why it's the basic girl drink of the fall. Mm -hmm. Same I don't I don't like it. She likes it. It's kind of like the Raw and Sons here. If you're getting into beer and you want to try an Oktoberfest beer, I think that would be your safety net. I think that's why you don't like it. Maybe. What you're saying is it's, it's basic beer. Yes, I just told you. I got it demoted. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. I didn't get <laughs> Next up is Yingling's Oktoberfest, which Yingling's one of my go-to brands for a um, like a good, affordable, basic lager. Although, if you're a Western viewer, I don't know if you can get this. Yeah, um, I we think actually, it's kind of more of like a. I think last year was the first year I even realized that Yingling made an Oktoberfest. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. How I long still think it's weird. Not, but <laughs> I love Yingling. Don't get me wrong. I'm with you on that. But I think it's really weird that they make an Oktoberfest. Maybe they'll make a cold snap. They do make seasonal lagers. Uh, they make a winter seasonal. That's my, one of my favorite things. No, no, that's Shiner. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so it, it looks kind of like the regular lager, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, to be fair, Oktoberfest is a lager, so. Does it smell malty? No. I have a feeling it's probably not going to be super malty. Gross. No, it tastes like Yingling. Yeah. <laughs> it just tastes like It's Yingling. not a lot different, to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, if you were drinking at a party, you could probably talk yourself into being like, yeah, I'm drinking Oktoberfest. Yeah. Other than that, it kind of just, like I kind of want to compare this to a Yingling. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, like I like Yingling, and this isn't bad, it doesn't taste bad. I mean, it's an, I enjoyed the sip I just had, it was good, I would drink this, but uh, compared to the other Oktoberfest here, even the Sam Adams, this is not really, Oktoberfest is just kind of, I don't know. I mean, it might be a little heavier, kind of like leaning towards the black and tan, yeah. but it's not the black and tan. Yeah, I would say it's maltier than their regular lager, but it's, it's like still... Like a black and tan cousin. Yeah. Sorry, England. I love you, but... No! You put that under that? Yeah, I mean, What yeah. is wrong with you? Just, that doesn't... Just, I thought I we mean, were supposed to agree on it. This is not... You don't think that's good? You don't think that's the worst? It's good, but it's not. Well, what are we judging the worst on? Like the Flavor. worst Oktoberfest or well, the yeah, worst these, beer? These are, these are all Oktoberfest. Okay, I mean. well, it's the worst Oktoberfest, but it is not the worst beer. That's the worst. No, beer. that is delicious. This is good, but it's not. You got the middle spots to fill out, and perhaps, maybe, have a dethroning. We'll see. Yeah, those one, are good. one might be dethroned. Next up, one of my favorite uh, breweries that's you know fairly widely distributed. Shiner, yeah. Frozen Shiner, Texas. Made from Munich and caramel malts along with German grown Hallertau tradition <laughs> and Herz Brecker hops. Now fill your stein. Ready? Eins, zwei, dry. That's pretty good, the last part. Eins, zwei, dry. Is that this? Yeah. Oh. Eins, zwei, dry. Yeah. Oh, one, two, three. I was thinking maybe three, two, one. Yeah. No, I'm ah, We don't speak German. We just drink their beer. Yeah. 
This is a lot more like the Wiseacre in terms of like. I mean, it's gonna be good. I mean, I'm gonna look at it. It's it's a lot more like the Wiseacre. It oh, weird. I love Shiner. Like they make good beer, so. It smells weird. It kind of smells like butt. I'm sorry, it does. Don't tell them that. It smells like toilet. No, it does not. It tastes like air. It doesn't have a taste to it. You know, for putting the history of Oktoberfest on the back of your bottle, you you know, you, yeah. it should taste a little. See? It's. It doesn't it's, taste like toilet, but it I'm, smells like it. I'm unimpressed, to be honest with you. I'm sad. I thought I would really like that yeah. one. I love Shiner Beer. I mean, it's not, again, it's, it's like a Yangling, right? Like, it's not a bad beer. Like, I don't dislike it, but I am unimpressed by it. So, if we're judging on Oktoberfest, I think Sam Adams and your little poop head there should move up a little bit. Question I is, think... is Yingling or Shiner better? Let's see. I think in terms of Oktoberfest, they both are missing the mark equally. But I like the Yingling Oktoberfest better just beer-wise. I think you're right about them both missing the mark. Equally. But I think this one's better. This just really just tastes like a dark bean ring. Well, I can't remember what a shiner tastes like. Yeah. Well, this doesn't taste like a shiner. Oh, it doesn't? No. Okay. okay, well, okay, then that's fair because at least it's something different. So, they, yeah, I think even you should go to the bottom. Sorry, Sorry England. I, I mean, mean, I, I mean, I'd still I, drink it. I feel bad about it. I really wanted that to be in the bottom. I'm not gonna lie. Just so y'all know, I'm not biased. I wanted that to fail miserably, and it's just not the worst one here. In case you were wondering, this video is not sponsored by Sam Adams. <laughs> Next up, Claw Hammer Oktoberfest from Highlands Brewing Company in North Carolina. Varian inspired Asheville made. This Marzen lager is smooth and well-rounded with toasty malt flavor. Okay, all of these descriptions are the same. Yeah, I have had uh, Claw Hammer before. It's been a while. I remember it being very heavy and very malty. It's five percent like, ABV. Like it, so, it's a little it, lighter than. It's it's less potent than, than a lot of these. <laughs> nice and dark. It's dark. It's not too light. It's a nice golden. It's like it's not like the uh, Shiner came out almost. It does not smell like toilet. It smells good. Yeah, it's a, I, I, like I said, I remember this being very heavy and very malty, but I'm about to find out. For us. I like that. That is, That's if, good. if we hadn't have said the word malt yet, I'd be like, mm. that's the malty one. Yeah. If that gives you a feel for it. It's caramely, it's mm. like silky. It's good. It's smooth. It's pretty good. Mm. I like it a lot. That one's really good, guys. Give me the wise acre can. I got <laughs> I know. No, don't go out of state. <laughs> we gotta keep this in the state. This one might be easier to drink though. You know what I mean? Like I think you could drink two or three of these wise acres and it'd still be really delicious, whereas I think you might could only have one or two of these. The claw hammer's really good. <laughs> See, I like this one because it's got like an aftertaste but not in a bad way. It's got like kind of some kind of like Cinnamon is the wrong word. Spiced aftertaste, this one. I still like this one. Can I put it back? Yeah, I don't know. The claw hammer. About this one. The claw hammer is really good. I think it could go above that one. Those two are so similar. Which one is that one? The Yeehaw? It was Yeehaw. The Yeehaw and the Wiseacre are very similar in my opinion. Claw hammer is better than the Yeehaw. Mm -hmm. I think we can knock the Yeehaw down. Wiseacre is still winning. The Clawheimer is better than the Eagle. Oh. Alright, the final one um, is not Oktoberfest. So this is the curveball. So uh, this one's just going to go where we think it fits in with the other beers, I suppose. Uh, we couldn't find another Oktoberfest and we had to fill out our pick six. We had a few in the fridge. So we wound up with this. It's a Yazoo, which is out of Nashville, Tennessee. It's a Yazoo Fall Lager. In the South, the surest sign of fall is the first crisp morning that starts the ginkgo leaves turning yellow. Then like a football team at the snap, the bright yellow leaves all fall at once. I feel like that's commentary on our football team and I don't appreciate it. Oh no, I love it. <laughs> Dark. Good color. Good, color. Good malty color. <laughs> 
malt. Ah. It smells kind of like an Oktoberfest. Yeah, it does. But I feel like it's going to be a lot hoppier. And I wonder There's, why... Oktoberfest are not hoppy at all. But I wonder why they would call it an Oktoberfest. Because it's, 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 it's hoppy finish. Why would they not? Because oh, okay. it's not an Oktoberfest. Oh, sorry. I got excited. Gross. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, I, I like, like it. it. Still better than that. It's not. That needs to be oct or axed. <laughs> they sound similar. You leave my beer alone. That is delicious. Where do you put it? Well, I don't know. This is why I didn't want to get one that didn't say Oktoberfest. Uh, well, you know what? But if you're thinking of a fall seasonal, I still like to go to an Oktoberfest. But I like this more than their attempts at an Oktoberfest. That's true. Okay, so we know it's at least not seven yeah. or eight. Now, I think I think it goes right here because I for. You for think like it's a, worse than same as? No, not worse. But less of an Oktoberfest? I, yeah, I think it's enjoy more enjoyable personally to me than a Sam Adams Walker. Um, than a Sam Adams Oktoberfest. But when I think of grabbing a fall beer, I I, re I, I think of reaching for an Oktoberfest. This is a good option though, um, but I would still rather have most of these Oktoberfest over this. But this is a better fall beer than at least these two. Yeah. I would also probably personally pick this over the Sam Adams, but I wouldn't. So, and I think that's fair because I would usually choose an Oktoberfest. I'll put the Yahoo here at six. I like it more than the. Then to be fair, these two are the two of the more mass-produced ones, excluding that's Sam true. Adams. Sam Adams is a big, pretty big brewer. Shiner it's and like Yingling. the basic version. Yeah, Shiner and Yingling are also pretty big brewers. And I like Yazoo's better than their attempts at a fall beer, so. I don't know. So you have like your October. I'm actually shocked we found this many Oktoberfests. We went to Kroger and we we're like, we're gonna pick some. And I was like, okay, there are a lot more than I thought. Yeah. I thought we were gonna have to get some more of like these, like fall beers, and there's a Lion's Light. Lion and Kugel? Lion. I still can't say. Lion and Kugel. <laughs> a Lion and Kugel. They have a fall shandy. Yeah. Is it called a fall shandy? It is. No, no, it's called, it a, pump. Like it's called a pumpkin shandy. But the greatest thing about this taste is, is I didn't have to drink any pumpkin beer because well, all pumpkin beer is trash. Anyway, these are our rankings. Please let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree? Have you had any of these? We'll run them down. Yeah. Let's for go. the final standings. Bringing up the rear. Oh, we'll we'll, get, yeah, we'll go from the bottom up. Okay. Bringing up the rear. Unfortunately, Yingling's my homeboy, but the Yingling Oktoberfest is, is at the bottom. Next up, I also feel bad about this because I'm a big supporter of the Shiner uh, Brewing Company. Um, if you're looking for a winter beer, Shiner Cheer is my favorite winter seasonal. But Stay tuned for that video. This one comes in at 7. <laughs> at 6, we have our Yazoo Fall Lager, non-Oktoberfest. It beat up two of them. At five, That's unfortunately, sad. is the Sam Adams Oktoberfest, but Good beer. it's not. But it's 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 an Oktoberfest. At four is uh, Rar and Sons. I am a fan of this one. At three, one of the local boys, yeah. um, Yeehaw's Oktoberfest. This one's actually pretty close to us. Um, nice. At two would be Highlands Claw Hammer Oktoberfest. And the uh, champion we are going to crown here, um, y'all may disagree with this because I will admit it may not be the truest rendition of an Oktoberfest, but it is my favorite. And that is uh, Wiseacre from Memphis, Tennessee, their version of the Oktoberfest. It does have two traditionally dressed German people cheersing beer on it. So I'm going to say it's an Oktoberfest, like three well, and three. But, yeah, okay. That's all we got, so until next time, guys. Gross. Cheers.